Emma Stone Emma Stone is an Academy Award-winning actor, best known for her roles in the movies Easy A, La La Land, and 2023's Poor Things. Emily Jean Emma Stone is an American actress and producer. Her accolades include two Academy Awards, two British Academy Film Awards, and two Golden Globe Awards. In 2017, she was the world's highest-paid actress and named by Time magazine as one of the 100 most influential people in the world. Wikipedia Born, November 6, 1988, age 35 years, Scottsdale, Arizona Spouse, Dave McCary, M. 2020 Awards, Academy Award for Best Actress in a Leading Role, View More Full Name, Emily Jean Stone Parents, Krista Stone, Jeff Stone Siblings, Spencer Stone Nineteen eighty eight present. Latest news Emma Stone wins Best Actress Oscar. The Best Actress race at the 96th Academy Awards was one of the most closely watched categories of the March 10th ceremony. Poor Thing star Emma Stone came out on top. The 35 year old won for her acclaimed performance as Bella Baxter in the Frankenstein esque movie. Overwhelmed with the accolade, Stone held back tears and collected herself several times during her acceptance speech. She began by stating, My dress is broken. I'm pretty sure that happened during the performance of I'm Just Ken. There was no avoiding the wardrobe snafu, as she knew she'd eventually walk off the stage. Stone made a point to say her second Best Actress Oscar was the result of the work of the movie's entire team and thanked director Yorgos Lanthimos. She won the similar categories at the Golden Globes and BAFTA Awards this year. Who is Emma Stone? Emma Stone is an Academy Award-winning actor, best known for her roles in Easy A, La La Land, and Poor Things. Eager to become a professional actor, Stone convinced her parents to move from Arizona to Los Angeles. Her first movie was 2007's Superbad, after which Stone landed her first lead role in Easy A. The performance also resulted in a Golden Globe nomination, her first major award recognition. Since then, Stone has appeared in more than a dozen movies and earned five Academy Award nominations, including two wins for Best Actress in 2016's La La Land and her newest movie, the Frankenstein-esque black comedy Poor Things. In 2023, at age 35, Stone became the youngest person to join Saturday Night Live's Five Timers Club, having hosted the sketch comedy show for a fifth time. Quick Facts Full Name, Emily Jean Stone Born, November 6, 1988. Birthplace, Scottsdale, Arizona. Spouse, Dave McCary, 2020 present. Child, Louise Jean. Astrological sign, Scorpio. Early life. Emily Jean Stone was born on November 6, 1988, in Scottsdale, Arizona. Her family's surname was anglicized to Stone when her grandfather, who was of Swedish descent, immigrated to the United States through Ellis Island. Stone began acting when she was 11, with her first stage role in a youth theater production of The Wind in the Willows. Throughout middle school, she appeared in 16 theater productions, including The Princess and the Pea, Alice in Wonderland, and Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. She also performed with a local theater's improvisational comedy troupe. After attending an all-girl Catholic high school for one semester, Stone dropped out to focus on an acting career. To convince her parents to let her move to Los Angeles, the witty young actor put together a PowerPoint presentation aptly titled Project Hollywood, set to Madonna's song, Hollywood. Her tactic proved successful, and in January 2004, at age 15, Stone moved with her mother to a Los Angeles apartment. Stone soon began auditioning for roles, often standing out for her signature raspy voice. The fiery young actor was so dedicated that she dyed her childhood blonde locks a dark brown, hoping that the change would help her land more serious roles. Breaking into Hollywood Stone got her first break as the winner of the VH1 reality show In Search of the New Partridge Family in 2004. The reality competition featured eight aspiring young actors, all competing for the role of Laurie Partridge for a revival of the 1970s sitcom. 
contestants were judged on their singing, acting, and resemblance to the original Lori. The young actor, who went by Emily Stone at the time, won over the crowd with a cover of Pat Benatar's We Belong and landed the role. Although the project never made it past the pilot, it served as a starting point for Stone's career and led her to future manager Doug Wald. After her run with reality TV, Stone began making appearances on several hit programs, including Malcolm in the Middle and Medium. She soon landed a regular role as 17-year-old Violet Trimble on the Drama Drive, which lasted only one season in 2007. Around this time, Stone auditioned for a role on the hit science fiction show Heroes, ultimately losing the part to actor Hayden Panettiere. Movies, Easy A, La La Land, Poor Things, and more. Stone has had a prolific career in Hollywood for nearly two decades. Her first movie was 2007's Superbad, and she has largely dedicated herself to comedies, from slapstick to more provocative fare. Her performances have earned her an Academy Award for Best Actress, for La La Land, and two Golden Globes. Debut in Superbad In 2007, Stone made her movie debut in the teen comedy Superbad, alongside Jonah Hill and Michael Sarah. The film, which was written and produced by Seth Rogen and Judd Apatow, was a box office hit and received a strong critical response. A year later, Stone starred in the comedy The Rocker, with Rain Wilson and Christina Applegate, as well as The House Bunny, with Anna Faris. Over the next few years, Stone emerged onto the Hollywood scene with roles in several big movies, including Ghost of Girlfriends Past, Zombieland, and Paper Man, all of which were released in 2009. Emma Stone plays Olive Pendergast in the 2010 teen comedy film Easy A. Stone leveled up by landing her first lead movie role in the 2010 teen comedy Easy A. She played Olive Pendergast in the movie, which was inspired by Nathaniel Hawthorne's The Scarlet Letter and surrounds the life of an innocent high school student whose reputation is jeopardized by rumors of promiscuity. Stone's witty and charming performance in Easy A earned her another career first a Golden Globe nomination for Best Actress. Stone received critical praise again in 2011, as college graduate and aspiring writer Eugenia Skeeter Phelan in The Help, a film based on Catherine Stockett's novel of the same name. The movie was nominated for both an Oscar and Golden Globe. That same year, Stone starred in the hit romantic comedy Crazy, Stupid, Love, alongside Ryan Gosling and Steve Carell. The Amazing Spider-Man Stone was cast as Gwen Stacy, the 17-year-old love interest of Peter Parker in The Amazing Spider-Man. The Andrew Garfield-led movie released in 2012, and Stone reprised her role in its 2014 sequel. Around this time, she also starred in Gangster Squad, 2013, The Croods, 2013, and Magic in the Moonlight, 2014. Oscar nomination for Birdman in 2015, Stone received her first Oscar nomination and second Golden Globe nod for playing a recovering drug addict and daughter of a Hollywood star, played by Michael Keaton, in the 2014 drama comedy Birdman or The Unexpected Virtue of Ignorance. Offscreen, Stone made her Broadway debut in late 2014, starring as Sally Bowles in the revival of Cabaret, with Alan Cumming. Emma Stone accepts the Oscar for Best Actress for her performance in the 2016 movie La La Land. In 2016, Stone received her first Golden Globe Award for her portrayal of aspiring actor Mia Dolan in the hit movie musical La La Land, co-starring Ryan Gosling. The movie won seven Golden Globes in all, the most won by any movie in the awards ceremony's history. This is a film for dreamers and I think that hope and creativity are two of the most important things in the world, and that's what this movie is about, Stone said in her acceptance speech. A few months later, with La La Land under consideration for a record-tying 14 Academy Awards, Stone took home the coveted Oscar for Best Actress. Battle of the Sexes and Cruella Continuing her run of acclaimed work, Stone slipped on her tennis sneakers to portray tennis great Billie Jean King in Battle of the Sexes. 2017, about King's 1973 match against former men's champion Bobby Riggs. Stone and Steve Carell, as Riggs, both earned Golden Globe nominations. She returned to a familiar apocalyptic wasteland in 2019 Zombieland, Double Tap, then revisited animated Fair in the Crudes, A New Age. 
Her next big role was as the puppy-stealing Disney villain Cruella de Vil in a live-action origin movie, Cruella, 2021. A sequel is currently in the works. Poor Things Stone worked with director Yorgos Lanthimos in the 2019 movie The Favorite, about three cousins vying for the attention of Queen and in the early 18th century. The black comedy was critically praised and nominated for 10 Academy Awards, including Best Supporting Actress for Stone and Rachel Wise, and Best Actress for Olivia Colman. Stone and Lanthimos reteamed for the 2023 fantasy Poor Things, with Stone in the lead role of Bella Baxter opposite Mark Ruffalo's Duncan Wedderburn. Both performances were praised by critics and earned the actors multiple nominations. For her part, Stone collected the 2024 Golden Globe, BAFTA, and Academy Awards. Also a producer of Poor Things, Stone additionally received a Best Picture nomination for the latter. Bella has stayed with me deeply, so this means the world, she said during her Golden Globe acceptance speech. Yorgos, I don't know what I could say to you that I haven't already, but I will be forever be grateful we met. The actor and director also are working together on Kinds of Kindness which could release in 2024, though an official release has yet to be scheduled. TV Shows In between blockbusters, the actor has appeared in a couple limited series. Based on a Norwegian TV show, 2018's Maniac featured Stone and Jonah Hill as two finalists selected to undergo a pharmaceutical trial, leading to some mind-bending results. The Netflix series got mixed reviews. Afterward, Stone and Nathan Fielder anchored the curse. The Showtime series, which began its release in November 2023, centered on a couple starring in a new home improvement show and trying to conceive. Partly thanks to the curse, Stone achieved a rare feat of being nominated for two of the Golden Globe Best Actress categories in the same year, for motion picture, musical or comedy and television series, drama. Elsewhere, Stone has also received praise for her frequent appearances as a host of Saturday Night Live and joined the Five Timers Club in December 2023. At age 35, she became the youngest person to have hosted five times. Dave McCary and Emma Stone, seen here at a 2022 San Diego Padres baseball game, have been married since 2020. Stone met writer and director Dave McCary in December 2016 while serving as a guest host on Saturday Night Live. The two were spotted together months later, and a source confirmed to People in October 2017 that they were dating. The couple announced their engagement in December 2019 and tied the knot in 2020. The actor was spotted with a baby bump in January 2021 and, according to a birth certificate, gave birth to a daughter named Louise Jean in March of that year. They named their daughter after Stone's grandmother Jean Louise. Prior to her relationship with McCary, Stone dated her Spider-Man co-star Andrew Garfield for about four years until they broke up in 2015. Stone and McCary are known for keeping details of their relationship private, and Stone doesn't have social media accounts. In 2016, she told Elle, It makes me so crazy to look at social media. When you see people like, this is the best life ever. I couldn't be happier, you're like, shut up, that is not true. Not everything comes together in the best way ever, every day. It just doesn't. Even when your dream you set out for comes true, it's not always perfect. Net Worth According to Celebrity Net Worth, Stone's net worth is around $40 million as of March 2024. In 2017, she topped Forbes' list of the world's highest-paid actresses at $26 million. <laughs>